Alrighty guys, so we're going to move on and talk about the history panel in the develop module and let's select a different photo first just to have a little change of pace. So let's select image number 9, I'm going to go develop and you'll notice in this history panel right here on the left side, um, if it's not expanded on yours, just click the arrow to expand it. You'll see all the adjustments that I made to this image. Now I want to reset this and to do that I'm going to just go over to this X right here and it'll say clear all. I want to clear everything so we can show you guys exactly how the history panel works. Basically the history panel works similarly to how it would in Photoshop where it's going to save uh, essentially every adjustment that you're making over here in the develop side to a, a step in the history. So let's make a few adjustments and show you guys. I'm going to raise up my brightness a little bit, increase contrast, increase a little bit the blacks, um, and just some overall vibrance and the temperature. We'll warm it up just a little bit. And we'll say maybe just a little bit of recovery to pull down our sky. Alright, we'll call that good right there. Alright, so now we notice that all these adjustments that we made to our basic uh, develop settings have been saved as different states in our history. And so now we can back up to any one of those previous steps and undo it if we want, or we can back up all the way to the beginning as well. And you'll notice that if I actually mouse over these, it's actually showing me the preview of each step in my navigator window. So I can kind of just get a quick idea of what the image is going to be if I back up to, say, the temperature step right here. When I actually click it, it's going to go all the way back to that step, and it will undo anything that came after it as well. So basically the highlight recovery, uh, both highlight recoveries and this brightness are also undone as well. So if I go all the way back to brightness it's going to undo everything except for that brightness adjustment of plus 20 which we see over here on the right side. So it's really simple how it works. Um, it's going to save basically all the steps that you're doing up to a certain point with each one of these photos. If you want to clear at any point in time you're just going to go back to the X, hit clear all. In addition, you can also right click on any one of these steps and you can right click and say create a snapshot which will create a snapshot at that specific point in your uh, workflow step in your history. You can also do the same thing as you would with a snapshot and copy that history step to setting uh, copy the history step settings to before. So when you show the before and after, it'll show that point in your in your history as the before image. All right, pretty simple stuff. Let's go on to the next tutorial.